in Pinellas County. You know, when we first started tracking Hurricane Milton, Treasure Island had just begun the recovery process after Hurricane Helene. Devastating storm surge made it one of the hardest hit communities in our area. As Luke Clary explains, many people worried that Milton would bring more of the same. Across the barrier islands, people were bracing for the worst from Hurricane Milton and a possible repeat of Hurricane Helene's devastating storm surge. Recovery once again on the barrier islands. As bad as it looks in Treasure Island, City Commissioner Arden Dickey says the overwhelming emotion today is relief. Everybody that has come out felt the same way I did when they came out here. They were shocked that that there wasn't more severe damage. Two weeks ago, Hurricane Helene brought storm surge that pounded homes with seawater and sand. That's what caused most of the damage you see here. It's absolutely terrible to see that devastation. Clearwater resident and Lori Erasmus was hosting her brother from South Africa, where they grew up, when the back-to-back -back hurricanes came. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, and I come from a third world country. When Hurricane Milton came, it brought high winds and rain to Treasure Island, but no major storm surge. If the storm had come a little bit further north and we would have gotten that surge again, it would have been a nightmare. It would have been a nightmare, but because we didn't get hardly any water. We had a lot of rain, but but that's not a big issue out here. Now the attention returns to clearing the sand from Sunset Beach and removing debris from several barrier island communities in the wake of Hurricane Helene. Everything and the kitchen sink and this massive pile of trash and debris on St. Pete Beach. This Little League field doubling as a makeshift landfill. But if you thought this was a big pile, there's an even bigger one behind it. The surrounding apartments and beyond bringing their trash to this place for collection. But this only scratches the surface of all of the cleanup left to do and the surrounding communities of the barrier islands. The wheels of commerce halted on the barrier islands. Now that Helene and Milton are gone, work crews are getting back to the business of recovery. Reporting in Treasure Island, Luke Clary, 10 Tampa Bay.